So the last section of the DAT is the QR, the math. And after the hour of reading comp, you're gonna feel so ready to get this math done because it's the very last thing you have to do on your DAT. And I gotta say, I was the most intimidated by the QR when I began my DAT study. I'm someone who took college algebra over a summer to get it like done accelerated and thought I'd never have to touch math again. Um, I hadn't taken math in a few years. So it, when I first took my practice test, I think I got a like a 14 or 13 on math. I did so bad. And so I knew it was gonna be a struggle to get my math up. Um, the biggest suggestion I would have for math is one, download the Anki deck for math. I know I've said that about all the science sections, but it's true, it works. Um, memorize the formulas just in case, like odds are you're gonna have very basic math equations, right? And, uh, but they can throw in, you could have a harder test or you could have some harder questions mixed in there. So memorize all the fundamental equations of math. Um, you can find on Booster or Bootcamp, they have Anki decks or uh, equation cheat sheets, like definitely give those a look a few times and know them, like know how to find the area of a hexagon, things like that, you know, different side lengths of a triangle and all the fun stuff that you remember from ninth grade. <laughs> um, but the biggest thing I would suggest is when you're taking practice tests, like the chemistries, always make a flashcard of questions you miss. Math, more than any other subject, they can only ask you so many questions. They can only ask you so many probabilities, so many coin question, age, age problems or whatnot, distance time questions. So if you can really understand the format of the question, because you've done a, a bunch of practice questions, you're gonna be chilling. Like you're gonna have so much confidence when you see the types of questions they give you on the real thing. At least for my test, I thought, instead of going like three or four steps in on DAT Booster or Bootcamp's practice test, the real DAT went like two steps or even one step in depth of knowledge on QR. And so that meant like, I felt so confident when I was taking my QR. I think I had like 30, 32 questions done with like 15 minutes to spare. And when I saw that, I really started letting off the gas in terms of speed. And uh, I ended up only being able to review for five minutes because I slowed down my pace so much. So uh, don't do that. I recommend like look at the time to pace yourself, but uh, don't get ahead of yourself when seeing how much time you have remaining. Um, but yeah, like I felt the mat like the math was easier on uh, the real thing than the practice test. I was averaging anywhere from an 18 to a 23, I think was my highest on math and practice test. I ended up getting a 22 on the real thing. So, um, yeah, I was, I was happy with math. Like I was most worried about that. I, I was having, you know, nightmares the night before thinking I'm going to go drop a seven or 16 in math and have to retake the data. Luckily I, I don't have to, um, but I'll, uh, edit me in or I'll post another clip of me with my actual score report. But so that means I got a 22 in bio, 22 gen chem, 30 o chem, 25 PAT, 20 reading and 22 QR that equates to a 23 total science and a 23 academic average. Um, I'm very happy with my score. Um, as someone who didn't have the most linear path to college or good start in college, like I couldn't be happier um, with, with that, that score. Um, I think that genuinely anyone can do well on this test, depending on the amount of time you're willing to put in and study, how much you're willing to sacrifice. I would say the hardest part is gonna be sacrificing um, your social life a little bit, your lifestyle a little bit. I know for me, like I love to go to the gym. I love to um, spend quality time with my fiance and with friends, with family. Um, I just sacrifice a lot of those things. Of course, the time with the fiance you can't sacrifice, but uh, you know, I didn't see my friends for a few months and spent a little less time with my family, didn't hit the gym as often. so. Uh, be prepared for that. There's going to be mental obstacles you face um, when studying for this test that, that you're just going to have to get through. So be mindful of that.